everybody, my name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably looking at this and going, she's the exact same as her very first video and I know it's true, I filmed these back to back so please do not judge me too harshly, I'm just trying to get ahead on my video content. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to this video. Every single year at the International Center in my area, there is a bunch of pet and reptile expos. So January 26th, um, they had a big reptile expo and I went with my best friend Amy and my boyfriend Freddie. And I had no intention of buying anything and I had no intention of falling in love with anything, but Yeah, I won't spoil it for you guys, but I just hope you enjoy the small amount of footage that I do have, and I will see you after that shows. Well, I'd say the Reptile Expo was a success because I adopted a seven-legged tarantula. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Hennessy, can you not? Thank you. It's been a couple weeks since the Reptile Expo, and I just wanted to show you what I got. You already saw a little clip of him earlier, but yeah. Quick warning for anybody, if you do not like tarantulas, please skip ahead, maybe to the end of the video. Alrighty, so in this lovely container, I have, you can see my amazing setup of my reflection. Can I learn to talk? That would be nice. In this box, I have my tarantula Curtis. He is a seven-legged Brachypelma albolossum. For those of you who aren't familiar with these specific terms, he is called a curly-haired tarantula. He is native to Honduras and Cuba, I do believe. If I'm wrong, please don't hold it against me. I only have two spiders and I'm not that much of an enthusiast yet. They are called a new world spider because their venom isn't incredibly poisonous and they are very docile in nature, which means they are very good at being held. Now I just took the lid off of the container and I don't want anybody freaking out going, oh my gosh, she's gonna hold them because no, I'm not. I like spiders, but not enough to put myself in danger by holding him and I don't want to put him in danger either because I'm the type of person who I will yell and I go oh my god no and I will drop him and I don't want to hurt him because I care about him too much to hurt him like that so oh no pick you up here and I will show you real quick what my spider looks like Okay, so from above, this is what his enclosure looks like. I am aware that he's in need of water. I'm going to fill that up as soon as I'm done filming this. He's already built some webs around here. Made himself at home. And he's in this little thing right here. You can really barely see him. But you can see some of his curly hairs.
So there you have it. You've met Curtis, my brand new tarantula, and you got to see everything we saw at the Reptile Expo. I am so excited to go back next year. It's one of my favorite events of the year. All the beautiful snake morphs, all the lizards, and all the tarantulas. I was so happy that they had an adoption booth this year for animals that have needed to be rehomed or animals that have been abandoned because you very rarely see that for reptiles. You always see it for like the cute animals like birds, for rabbits, for cats and dogs, but it's not very often you see it for reptiles or animals that it takes a specific kind of person to be able to care for them. But yeah, thanks again for tuning in guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your dream animal is. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Alrighty, thank you so much again for your support. I will see you guys in the next video. His name is Curtis. And he is super duper cute.